This is AC Starlord, aka okay, Awesome. Welcome back to my channel. And I finally got around to watching Superman and Lois, the final season. And this has to deal with a certain graphic novel that's been selling um, uh, uh, books ever since it first dropped and even asked. I think they asked fans, but I'm not sure. How they want Superman to die. What's well, the word Superman dies, right? And this, it opens up with what happened last season with with Bizarro Superman turning into Doomsday Bizarro Superman. Not regular Doomsday, but Bizarro Doomsday. So... And it's there, and that's where it kind of begins, where they go off into space and fight. So, this series is based off of this graphic novel, The Death of Superman. And I'm about to get into some nitty-gritty stuff in here. So, in this book, Doomsday, it's Doomsday, it's a person in a... Suit, a space suit, as you can see here, space suit, right? Then you see Blue Beetle. You see, well, we haven't seen you haven't seen this character before yet, but it's Booster Gold. Then you have Blue Beetle, right there, right? And this is where I'm reading it so far. And then you have some other characters. You have Superman. And all stuff like that. You have Booster Gold. And you have Blue Beetle. And then Doomsday. That's the page I'm on. But the reason why I bring that up is because this show only has... Lois Lane. Lois Lane. Sarah. And... And Jordan and John Kent and Jordan Kent, Lois Lane, Kent, Lena, you know, Superman's childhood friend, and Lex Luthor and his lackeys, and Mr. Lane, the general of the uh, of the army. And then you have Superman fighting in space while they're trying to figure out where their grand, where Jordan Jonathan's grandfather is because Lois Lane asked him to find him, and he's with someone he was dating in the other show, but working for Lex Luthor, and you don't see Lena or Sarah towards the end of this episode, and well, of course they're still showing a fight between. This is the first episode of fight between. Bizarro, Doomsday, and Superman. And then in between, Lex Luthor trying to threaten Lois Lane because she, he went to jail and she um, took time away from his daughter, Elizabeth, or whatever. And then they go back to the fight of Superman in space. Here's where this, where I say, this graphic novel comes to hand when I'm talking about, I don't even know I've read the first few pages. But I remember this book so much. I read a little bit. About, I read a little snippet of this book. I actually bought this so I could read it. I'm glad that they're doing a live action version of this. Their fight is on Earth. When you, I mean, I even watched a YouTube video on this. And even when you skim through the pages, their fight's on Earth, not in space. Their fight's on Earth. Their doom, doomsday, regular doomsday in here, and Superman. Fight on Earth. Interesting, right? Not in space, but in the show is they fight in space. So, yeah, eventually, at the end of the episode, Doomsday, Bizarro Doomsday, because he has a Superman's uh, logo on his on his chest. I mean, like you know, what's it say? 
on his chest. That's how you can tell Bizarro Doomsday. At the end of this, he throws two men on the ground where in the, on Smallville, the main Smallville's uh Smallville's main street. He takes his heart out and then he gives his heart to Lex Luthor. And Lex Luthor has his heart. And you have Clark Kent and his boys and Lois Lane, Lena, and Sarah and the rest of the town folks seen it. Here is what does not happen in the comic. I mean, this is what does not happen in live action. What does happen in the comic? You have Booster Gold. You have Booster Gold. You have Blue Beetle. You have Superman. You have other superheroes that are not mentioned by name in this. You also have people. Like I said I read a little. I read a little. I didn't have the graphic novel. I had a uh, small paperback, a small paperback book of this. You even have a girl with a Bugs Bunny sweater on, crying. But the Bugs Bunny sweater is like Bugs Bunny all cheered up. I mean, all you know, all happy. Because you gotta put your Looney Tunes. You gotta put your Looney Tunes in there because it's Warner Brothers, right? <clears throat> You have those people admiring, I mean, not admiring, but being all sad for Superman in Metropolis. This doesn't happen in Smallville, it happens in Metropolis, and the TV show happens in Smallville. So it's kind of a, like a weird, I, mean, I know they're switching things up because the TV show, but it doesn't make any sense. You also have uh, Lois Lane's father escaping, and he does, and then he gets buried alive. There's that element, but in this book, you only see the superheroes fighting. Doomsday and then tell Superman find Doomsday. So, I haven't read in too much in the graphic novel. I want to before some further into the show, but the show leads into different things. So, the second episode, they show a clip of that again of Superman losing his heart. His sons want to find the heart. Jordan mainly wants to find the heart. Lois Lane tells their, her sons to stay away from. Um, Lex Luthor because it's not going to end well because they've been down this road. Him and Clark and her and Clark have been down that road. There's been clips of Lois Lane and Clark when they're first dating um, got to get first dating got together um, about to have you know um, sex first time to have sex have kids um, also flashbacks of the stuff that she has he has done for her um, in the past, she's still recovering from chemo because last season she's in chemo. That's also in the second episode. Also, second episode they show Lex Luthor with some hair. Lex Luthor's bald in this. Um, still threatening the family. Still threatening her, her sons. And then Jordan can't let. Jordan's like, oh, I didn't let my mom. I didn't let our mom and no one. No one. Um, our mom and. Um, and Superman's childhood friend and my ex-girlfriend know about if we can get his heart, we can put him, uh, we can make him be alive again. Knowing that in this graphic novel, his heart does not take out get taken out because it stays alive. He just dies. He just dies, and no, nothing. Doomsday doesn't take nothing for the heart. He just kills him somehow. I forget how he kills him, but I'll read it and. Have updates in between with this graphic novel and the and the show. <clears throat> That's pretty much how that goes. I mean, it was just a order from Brazaro Superman to take his heart out because of Lex Luthor. Um, what else? Lex Luthor still uh, joined friends. Lex Luthor to get the heart, and he said, "Oh, you're not like your father. You're not ready for this." And then he went to go f find his heart because his heart beats three times as fast. And then Sarah and this Sarah is supposed to be there for John. So here's the thing: Sarah and Jordan used to Sarah and Jordan used to date. Now John and Sarah are having contact because I guess his her mom tells her to be there for John. So when someone says in our world, side note in our world that you need to be there for someone, that means they're dating. So don't get me wrong here. That means. Jordan, that means John is dating Jordan's ex-girlfriend. 
Meaning, she's keeping it in the family, which is weird. Um, nonetheless, but again, I could be wrong. Um, so they you, she uses time to Lex Luther as an extraction. The mother knows her daughter really well. She's not. She's never been nice to people. <clears throat> and then uh, Lena saves Jordan. Uh, saves uh, John from being, you know caught by Lex Luthor and his uh and his hotel that he bought property on. He's still trying to buy property he's buying property there at Smallville just to get at Lois Lane. Um let's see. Jordan's on a mission to get his heart and then Lex Luthor caught, catches up with um Jordan, stomps on his heart and that's pretty much that thing and then they go to the Forces of Solitude to let's say goodbye to so man, that's pretty much into that. And here's the elements of this: the graphic novel does not have the sons in it, doesn't have Sarah, doesn't have Lena in it, it doesn't have any of those people in it. And just Lois Lane, Superman, Doomsday, and other superheroes that are trying to help Superman. That's it. Also, no Lex Luthor. Lex Luthor was never supposed to be. I mean, he's in the story of Death of Superman, but I don't think he's involved in the way he dies. Lex Luthor controlled the way he died by Bizarro, Superman turned into Doomsday, and then also kings up his, his father-in-law, and then almost trying to bury his father-in-law alive, also to get all this stuff to get out Lois Lane, just to, because Lois... Because he didn't get to spend time with his daughter. It to me this, he's a, the actor looks like a tough guy, a bald guy. But every time they make a a uh, a ser I mean a, a live action of like Superman, TV show or whatever with um, Lex Luthor in it, from like Supergirl to this show to any other show, how come Lex Luthor hasn't been accomplishedly made perfect from the comics since not since Smallville the TV show Smallville TV show Lois I mean uh, Lex Luthor was very very threatening very scary these other ones are just cookie cutter hey let's take this from the comic or whatever let's do empty threats this Lois this Lex Luthor is more of an empty threat one same thing with the guy that was in Two and a Half Men and Supergirl, uh, a cousin of this show, because it came first, um, was Lily, that's his cousin. Um, his Lex Luthor was good, but also empty threats as well. It's like very weird. <clears throat> I don't really feel the threats of Lo of Lex Luthor. I feel more Lois. I have to feel more for Lois Lane's threats, but that's about it. But the difference from this TV show to the actual graphic novel is different. Also, she go works for the Gazette, and this is the last thing I'm leaving you guys off. Well, she works for the Gazette down there, Smallville Gazette. She writes an article, and she's like, "Well, uh, tells her son like, I'm still gonna write that article that's coming out. Maybe." She, and then the son's like, "You should take it easy." No, I have to do something. And then she takes it, and then John sees, oh, whoa, 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 what is this? And she writes an article of the title of the graphic novel, The Death of Superman. They had to throw that Easter egg in here. They, they had to throw the Easter egg of the graphic novel, Death of Superman. You, you throw in the, you throw in the Easter egg when we all know the concept of this final season is Superman being dead. But then Superman does come back, though. But here's the thing. Are they going to do that in this TV show? Are they going to show him coming back? Or are they going to show him actually being dead? There's only three episodes so far. But are they going to show him being dead? Because after the second episode, it's like, oh, the protector, the protector of this world is gone. And that only leaves John, that only leaves John Henry uh, as Steel. As Steel. He does, they don't call him Steel in this, but as Superman, uh, Steel, Superman Steel. And then Superboy. Of course, there is in the cartoon of Death Superman, because I have the cartoon movie and then the new one they made. Of course, there's other 
imposter Superman's that come to save the world. There's Steel, and then there's Superboy, and then there's another one, uh, Robot One, and then actually Superman does come back. Superman does come back. So when they were saying, oh, we need his heart because Grant and their grandmother can use it, after Lois, after, um, Lex Luthor steps on it, you could have brought it to the force of, Jordan could have brought it to the for the, sol, the forces of solitude and have his grandmother work on it with the with the Kryptonian technology and then after she fixed the heart, put it in there, you know? Put it in his, in his body, back in his body. That's all I'm saying. Um, but like how they have the Easter egg of Death of Superman right in there and she's like, yeah, I gotta tell his story. And his story was, I mean, first, the first title of the, the story was Death of Superman. But you get my point. Like, that's a graphic novel, and we all know it. And it's an Easter egg in there. But that's a side rant. The first two episodes were okay. I, I'm going to try and enjoy the last season the last season of this show. It's the last of the Arrowverse. It's the last of the DC. It's the last of the CWDCEU show. It's the last one to go from the Arrowverse. Because you had Arrow... Flash, Supergirl, Legends of Tomorrow, Star Girl, Star Girl, get out of the out of the way, and now you just have this show left over on the CW, and I think the CW wants this to be done so they can do other things. So they're trying to get this show wrapped up. So, anyways, that's all I gotta say about Lois and Lane. I mean, Superman, Superman and Lois and all those people, all those things. I will deviate. I'll read more of this graphic novel. And, TV, and when I do these future videos, if I do any more future videos, deviate from the graphic novel to the con, to the live action show. But I know that Lex Luthor has nothing to do with his death. It's all about only just doomsday. But if you like this video, put a like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and... Deuces.